I'm just gonna run the burger. Just give me five more minutes. What's your emergency? Armed hooligans are running down the street. They just shot at me. Is anyone injured? No, not yet. Can you describe the suspects? I don't know. Boys, maybe six or seven years old. And they have guns? Yes, they have those giant water cannon things. They almost took my eye out. I I'm sorry, but are you reporting an actual emergency? Of course it's an emergency. It's always something with these people. If it's not water guns, it's water balloons or roller skates or tricycles and too many damn barbecues. Just one big damned unlawful assembly. If you would like to make a noise complaint, you should call. I'm calling you. And now I'd like to speak to your supervisor. Ma'am? It's a misdemeanor under California Penal Code Section 148.3 for a person to use the 911 system for a purpose other than reporting an actual emergency. Are you kidding me? I'm the criminal now? Okay, fine. If you people aren't gonna handle it, I will take care of it myself. Ma'am. Hey! How'd you get in here? Get out of here! Hey. No, dispatching units now. Oh, Possible God. assault in progress. Oh, oh. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you there? What just happened? Gunshot wound to the chest. He was already dead when we got here. Well, they're gonna be needing those med kits. Yeah, crime scene unit's on the way. We just need to get a medical confirmation that she's dead. On it. Excuse me. Uh, did you say excuse me? Jimmy's being weird. How can you tell? Ooh, ooh, hey, uh, whoever killed her, kick that gate in good. It's a clean footprint on it. Well, that foot would be mine. The gate was latched shut from the inside. Front door was locked, too. If everything was locked when you got here, how'd the murderer get in and out? It's a locked room mystery. A locked yard mystery. Yeah. What do you think? Home invasion gone bad? Murder for hire. Was she married because, you know, the husband is usually the culprit. Are we making a true crime podcast? I'm calling it. Definitely some signs of struggle. Looks like a fresh manicure, too. It's in that the broken nail would have bugged her less than the bullet hole. You got an ID for the paperwork? Yeah, the victim's name is Delia Norwood. She's the owner and sole occupant of the property. And uh, a pair of fan of tiny garden statuary. <laughs> How you doing, Rick? Nice to see you, Bobby. Hey, you know, none of this mail is addressed to Delia Norwood. Not even the right house number. So she was stealing people's mail. Maybe she saw something she wasn't supposed to and it got her killed. Okay, Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> I think your work here is done. All right, let's saddle up. So she was on the phone with 911, not about an intruder when she was shot. What are the odds? Well, Miss Narwood treated 911 like her own personal grievance hotline. I say the odds of her dying with them on the line were above average. How many calls from this address? 13. In the last six months. 13? Mm. I wonder which one got her killed. 